impression is that we're heading into a very exciting future. I would think it's a future, it's actually now. You see the best uh, possible weather scenarios is, is excellent for, uh, you know, just to defer us from having a bad day because it's raining out or just to uh, have the best possible uh, driving scenarios. Uh, even if it's a short or long um, driving, um, you know, time. Uh, so that's that's an excellent and great idea, and I've not seen that on on the show yet. So um, very exciting. The two parts I like the most are the parking. I think it's very good features to have. Allow us to be efficient and kind of reduce the stress coming to run around the parking structure and find a parking space. I also like the Avatar. I think it can help also help us reduce the level of stress driving a car, especially in foreign countries in which you get lost. Can I have more Avatars? Sure. I will have, I don't know, a couple of uh, back focus and I will be the lead singer when I'm in the car. So when the sun, co sun comes on the radio, I know, I know, I'm Mick Jagger and I have uh, <laughs> back vocals. Of course, fascinated by it, but on the other hand, I'm also afraid that we'll forget what's virtual and what's real. And I don't know, maybe I won't have this problem because I'm born in the 90s, but someone who is born, who is born today, who knows? The metaverse being the combination of the IoT data and interlaying that with um, with like augmenting the reality that the that the user is experiencing in the car, I, f I found very interesting. Right. Uh, specifically, the specifically the roadmap, as they were as 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 the driver is supposedly driving, and you know they have a layout of the routes that they're following, and then being able to like see that as a as a 3D map um, as you're as a driver, I thought that was really cool. Kind of gave me some Iron Man vibes behind that. 